Hi, I'm Kartha Gewert, and this is Sugar High. Sugar High! You may be wondering why I'm dressed like a watermelon and why there's a giant watermelon on my floor. It's been a long summer, hasn't it? He can barely stay awake, he's so bored. I can't stop smiling because this idea is so stupid. But basically, what I'm gonna do today, I'm gonna take this watermelon I grew in my garden here, and I'm gonna try to make a delicious painting out of it. Oh my goodness, so exciting. Where's my butcher knife? You know what I just realized? I feel like a baby is this big. I might have to squeeze one of these out of me in the future. Can you believe that? Oh, girl. Oh, the knife's not big enough. Oh. Yeah. 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 Are you interested? Oh, he looks away right when I ask. This is amazing. Oh my goodness, aren't these the prettiest thing? Like, I wanna make art out of these because aren't watermelons like the cutest, most summer? Why do I have, okay, I've got this hair that's just like, it's just popping out. This is the problem with not being able to leave your house. Like, Kartha Gewert's hair man, who also tickles my bum, can't come in. Wait, what, he doesn't? Yes. Hey, you want some watermelon? I think you do. One for you, one for me. Hey, little doggy. You don't like watermelon? I guess I gotta eat this whole thing by myself. Shouldn't be too hard. He just needed us to walk away and then he came and started eating this watermelon. Like, I don't know why, but this guy knows when he's on camera and he's like, I don't wanna do it for the camera. I think he was maybe just scared that I was holding a knife. Oh, look at you, sugar high. You're so good. Watermelon, sure. Hi. Oh. I tried to get you to eat some watermelon and you were like, I'm not your hoe. But he ate a lot of it off camera. You just gotta make sure that he doesn't eat the rind or the seeds. Don't want him getting sick. So I have my watermelon here. I have my watermelon juice actually because I wasn't able to eat all the watermelon. It's a big bowl. And now I've got my canvas here. Ah! And we're gonna tape it up. I want it to look like a bunch of watermelon slices. I'm not very good at geometry though. So we'll see how well that goes. I went a little bit more literal with the taping. Last time I did this kind of thing where I poured something over the canvas, I couldn't find where the tape was. So this time I have a little tab. So when I pull this off, hopefully it'll all come off in one go. Now the second thing I'm gonna do is like make a kind of color explosion, like a bang around it that I'm gonna paint. And then I'm gonna fill, paint in the melon, paint the melon. And hopefully this is my most beautiful piece. Hey, sugar high. What a party pooper. Not using tape. I only want the white to be outside of the watermelon. An ode to a watermelon. So much work, eh? I don't like this chunk here. The thing we like about Kartha Gewert is she really sits like a lady. It's coming along though. It's coming along just fine. Except it's really hard freehanding these lines. It's so satisfying though. So initially we were gonna tape off in between all the colors, but then we realized- It wouldn't stand as strong on the background if we did that, so we're doing it this way. Get all those white spots. I'm trying. Oh, she's trying. It's actually a Meeseeks color. It is. Watermelon sugar. Ah. You know, I thought this was gonna be a quick Kartha Gewert sting. But then, you know, I have a tendency to overcomplicate things, so this better turn out. <laughs> this better be really satisfying for you to watch. You better be happy and thrilled. Also, before I finish this taping, I really need your help. I'm once again asking for your financial support. No, I, I need you to bless this watermelon, okay? In the comments, I want you to say, I, username, bless this watermelon to not ruin Kartha Gewert's hard work. Amen. Maybe you have to do it now before the end of the video because it might screw it up. Nine even. men, not amen, nine men. The more men, the merrier, am I right? Look, like eight men sounds better. Eight men? Oh, eight men is much better. Yeah, eight men. Catch you later on MTV Rap. Moment of truth. First thing we're gonna do is like cut a little funnel. So it's kind of like a measuring cup. What do you think, sugar high? Pretty cool, huh? Okay, so we're gonna start out with the greens. Yeah, I'm gonna do greens in the... That's my water. You obviously have very strong morals. I'm gonna do greens on the bottom, pinks on top, and then hopefully I can like have more pink here and more green here, but we just don't know. We can't know. Yikes. And there's water in this, so it's really gonna distort our colors. <laughs> We're just gonna have to find out what this watermelon does to our art. The basic colors of the watermelon rainbow. And like fuchsia, I mean, this girl's really ripe. To add that pinkness into our watermelon. 
Ooh, we just made this white and it is so liquidy because usually white messes up our art. Like that is the chunkiest thing I've ever seen. And I just want to make sure it's not so chunky that we can't work with it. Oh my goodness, look at the water like mixing into the paint around this. This is just one of those like carthagewartsanidiot.com kind of things. Why would you do this? Yeah, why would you do this with Carthagewart? Here we go. Oh my goodness. Good, hey? We've kind of lost a bit of the dark green. I'm sure it'll come out to play. I'm just kind of trying to make it fill up the top part of the watermelon before it fills up the bottom. Come on. There we go. On the bright side, it's exactly as runny as we needed it to be, but the colors are kind of getting lost a little bit. I'm just like making paths because there's like rivers going where they're not supposed to. Wow, this is very like watermelon popsicle-y. I have a feeling we're gonna lose a lot of our green. It's definitely not like as structured as a usual watermelon painting. However, it was made with a watermelon. So let's hope for the best. I'm just kind of like trying to move some of the green bits because I actually don't know where the watermelon is on this tape and I don't want to lose it. These little chunks seem to be coming down, which is a positive. Now I'm gonna blow dry it from really far away because I don't want to mess it up. Like I really like the way this looks. Such a nice ombre. Don't you think you should turn it up? Yeah. And maybe go a little closer. Huh? Maybe go a little closer to it. I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> oh no. Keep the paint on the canvas. Art. People ask, I'm gonna be like, the secret ingredient is watermelon juice. It kind of looks like candy. I don't know if you can tell, but like up close, like I wanna lick that. Mmm, delish. Looks like a nice little strawberry dream. Time to take off the tape of the outer quadrants. Oh, oh. girl. Oops, Daisy. Nerve wracking. <laughs> working out. Yikes, and when your girl talks a bit too soon. Color correction, because we made some mistakes. We made some mistakes we regret, but it's nothing we can't fix. The teal like covers really easily. The yellow, ooh. Ah, a few color corrections have been done and now the moment of truth. Oh, jeez. Oh, Louise. Oh, Louise. Ugh. Louise. <laughs> You got a not, lot of nerves showing up to this watermelon. Whoa, what happened? Yeah, what the heck? Very interesting. It must be that watermelon juice. You know what I mean? Like that water. Very interesting. Get off. Wow. I don't know if I want to correct this or not. It kind of looks like the watermelon was like, hey, you're not the star, Kartha. Let me make my little impact. Okay, so I want to do seeds, but in the fluid art style, I kind of want to take like a little dropper. Like these are, what are these, anxiety drops? I'm going to take a little dropper and then kind of try to drop seeds like around the top, maybe throughout. I'm just so happy that it's like dark red on the top and green on the bottom. I'm excited. Once again, we are using a black pour paint. She thick. I don't know if this is going to work. Both watermelon and anxiety drops had a say in this. Okay, I'm scared. Maybe take an anxiety drop. I can't. There's paint in it. Why am I having like the jitters right now? Probably because I drank coffee. You don't want to talk to Carthagewer before she had her coffee. Ah, it's so cute. I'm just correcting it a little bit because I like the watermelon juice stain. I like how the tape was paint tight, but it wasn't watertight and the watermelon juice got through, but I didn't like how it was insulting our tape job so much. So I just kind of like cleaning up the corners in a bit, but still letting it look messy. I'm not going to get rid of all of it. I'm going to let most of it stay, but I just want the sharp corners to be evident. That's pretty good. Some of the parts I don't know if I did it or not. This is blending so well. Wow! I could not have done this glorious piece without sugar high. He smells like pepperoni. He's got pink in his paws. I know, it's because he came storming through in the middle, but thankfully he didn't eat any. Well, this is it. I'm actually so thrilled with how it turned out, but I want to know what you think in the comments because like, you know, sometimes I like something and sometimes you guys are like, I don't know about that, but like, it looks so cool. And I'm so glad we did like the really clean explosion and like the really clean taping because it makes like all of the imperfections seem a lot more deliberate. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see me again, make sure you hit push notifications. Cart the Goo, Sugar High, Perry. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.